right song. Because we're going through some things and we're all going through some things. But God, He chases us. He makes the enemies behave. Amen? Yes. He makes the enemy behave. So I love that song. Thank you, Julia. And all my other sister back there. Nice is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. Mm -hmm. 
she lays her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. She stretches out her hands to the poor, yet she reaches forth her hands to the needy. Yeah. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, mm -hmm. for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and deliver, delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and, and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou exaltest in excellence them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, Ooh, she God. shall be praised. Right there, right there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Hallelujah. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The words of Lemur, king of Mesa, which has brought his mother, taught him. And I'm going to just right there, right there. This is Mother's Day. <laughs> Mother, many scholars believe that Lemur, King Lemur, his name meant belonging to God. He was a king of Massa. Massa was one of the descendants of Ishmael and the leader of one of the Ishmaelite Ishmaelite clans. That's in Genesis 25 and 14. This is the view adopted by several versions in the translations of Proverbs 31.1. For instance, the New Jerusalem, and I love that Bible, the Jeru New Jerusalem Bible translates Proverbs 31 and 1 as follows, the sayings of the mere king of Massa. Massa was the name of a northern Arabian nation. I love history when we preach the word. Because you need the you need the foundation. Just don't suck topical and brush over there. Know the history. Yes. That's right. You gotta study. Amen. You go do pre do be approved by God. Amen? Amen. So we gotta study. Mm -hmm. Go deep. Massa was the name of the North Arabian nation. Then the words of Lemuel in Proverbs 31 may reflect the influence of Arabian wisdom on the developing Hebrew wisdom tradition. Massa has been identified with the tribes settled in northwestern Arabia near Taman. And that comes out of Genesis 25 and 14. And first chronicle, first and thirty. When y'all want to study. The words of Lemur King of Massa, which was his mother taught, and this was a mother. She knew she had a king. How many of us know we have kings and queens? We're not just babies. We didn't birth babies, but they're kings and queens. And that's the issue today. That mothers are not teaching their children that you're raising kings uh, and queens. Uh, come on. Yes. Uh, kings need to be caught, taught. Mm -hmm. And they're not to show how the world lives, but how we instruct the world. Hmm. So you gotta teach. Mm -hmm. So Lemon's mother taught. What shall I advise you? I mean, what am I going to teach you right now? Because one day you're going to be a man. And you got to lead. You're going to lead somewhere. If it ain't no more than your household. But you're going to lead. So she said, what shall I advise you? 
some of my vows and dedication to God. And I'm not only talking about for men, I'm going to talk about for women also and young girls. Amen? Amen. She said, son, don't give your strength to loose women. Well, right. <laughs> she said, loose women. Mama can tell your, mom, your, your, your sons, I, I have four sons and I raised, look, I'm adding more, including you. Yes, and I don't mind, you know, I told you at the beginning, if you're going to be my son, I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, and I'm going to tell you, Amen. and you have some tears running down, I don't mind. You'll be all right. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> but she says, son, give not your strength to loose women. Not that's not been trained to be your wife. Loose women. Nor your ways to those who and that will ruin and destroy you. To be the king that you're going to be. It is not for kings, O Lemire. It is not for kings to drink wine or for rulers to destroy desire strong drink. And it's not saying this. It's the word. Ecclesiastes 10 and 17. We're not going there. Study. Hosea 4 and 11. Study. Lest they drink and forget the law. That's why he doesn't want us to to drink, y'all. Does it feel good? Yeah. But she was telling her son that he knows, she knows that he's going to be a king. One day. Amen. I have sons and they're kings. Amen. They're not just sons, they're kings. Somewhere you're going to be lead. You're going to be a leader. You're kings. May not be in your mind, but you're king. And you remember that. Grandsons, you're kings. Daughter, daughters, granddaughters, you're queens. And that's how you declare yourself yeah. as your queen. Right. Brother Cherry, you are king. Amen. Amen. You're king. Amen. And I know your mother has trained you, so you're a king. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lest they drink and forget the law. Because when we get drunk, mm-hmm. we forget everybody and everything. <laughs> we don't even know what happened. So the mother was telling let me hear. forget, don't drink, because you'll forget the law and what it decrees. Uh-huh. Right now, we're talking about the word of God. If you forget that word and that law and it decree, you pervert the justice due. God has given his word. And we're to train our children in the word. I thank God, and my mind went back years ago when they were young, that before they went to school, we had a former school, a circle, and we had to pray. We had to pray. We had to pray. They had to pray before they went to school. That's one thing we have to teach our children. And even while they're grown, baby, don't forget to pray. You better remember how to pray because when mama or daddy is forsaken, they've left this world, Mm -hmm. you better know how to pray. So mama, teach. And I thank God for mamas. I thank God for my mother. And my drink only to medicine. And see, in the biblical times, you could use that drink as a medicine. Yeah. Now it's a, it's a ter- terrible thing. It's a, it's a terrible thing. It's not even medicine anymore just to make you drunk. It's a drink. <laughs> Wine was used for be- bitter distress of the heart, mm-hmm. for the stomach. Yeah. Now you don't know what's in it. So mother was teaching the king, let him drink and forget his poverty and open your mouth for the dumb because I am raising you to be a king that you'll be able to 
help someone else. You may be rich. I don't know what my kings are going to be. You might be millionaires. But you're going to help somebody along the way. Amen. Amen. Don't be stingy. That's right. She told her, her, her son, open your mouth, judge, judge righteously, mm -hmm. minister justice for the poor and needy. Mm -hmm. Leviticus 19 and 15, and a capable, intelligent, and virtuous woman you will find. Mm -hmm. Now that's the end. After all of this, that she told him. She said, now, this is the kind of woman, the, this, the, the righteous woman that I want your, you to have. The virtuous woman wasn't even about us. We stressing, well, I'm trying to be this virtuous woman, this proverb 31 book. What do you mean about that? She was telling how to raise her sons. How we to tell these young men what kind of women to choose. Amen? Right. Amen. And now I'm going to flip the script. Mm -hmm. Young ladies and the queens mm -hmm. that you're going to be, that you have to be, walk side by side the king mm -hmm. that you want to marry. Oh. An eagle, not a chicken, but an eagle. Come on. <laughs> That's what you want to marry. An eagle, not a chicken. <laughs> a, an eagle will soar right by itself. And he's the head and the leader. But you'll marry the chickens that flop it all around the ground and Picking up everything. Hmm? Jesus. Yes, Lord. So young tw my, 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 I'm going to preach anyway. <laughs> every, every mm -hmm. young man yes. that you see, queens, is not to be your husband. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we go back to Lemire, the king. When mama was teaching her son she was teaching about drinking in the world of the way, the world, the ways of the world. She started talking about a woman. Amen? Amen. She said, your wife will be, and she was prophesying over her son. She said, she shall be a God for a fearful woman. Yeah. And she preached and she taught and she prophesied. Mm -hmm. Your wife shall be a godly, fearful woman. Mm -hmm. And that's when they went into Proverbs 31. Mm -hmm. She would teach her children, passing knowledge to her children, leaving it a legacy. A woman of God will seek to know more through reading his word communing with him in prayer and fellowship. Mm -hmm. These will be the queens that God is calling out at a young age. And she will be hanging with the believers and not the world, but the believers. Amen? Amen. And she'll be listening to sound teaching. She knows all scripture is God breath, breathe, and use, useful for teaching, mm -hmm. for rebuking. See, she has that. The Lord Jesus was it hard. <laughs> Thank God they grown now, but it was tough. It was tough. And we're like, Lord, we, I know I didn't. I don't know where you're going to raise these children. And the Lord said, in the word. Amen. You train them in the word. Amen. Not only just beat them, but you teach them the word. So they'll know the word. I know one of my sons, uh, he's not here. And I had corrected him with this boy. <laughs> and the Lord said, stop. And I'm like, stop? You told me not to. No, give him the word. I gave him the word that y'all cried. Like, Lord, that's 
the rod. That's the rod. Amen. The rod of correction is the word. You want to beat them half to death and give them the word. Because that word corrects. It soothes. It corrects. It disciplines. It's the rod. And I'm like, just to give him the word, he cried because he knew the word. Hallelujah. And I thank God. So Lemire's mother was telling him with a godly wife, she would give your children sound teaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She does her best to present herself to God and approved by God. Hmm. A worker who does not need to be ashamed who correctly handles the word of truth. And that's 2 Timothy. Yes. 15. 15. That's why we got to study that word. Mothers, Thank God for Mother's Day. Amen. But we still got some work to do. Amen. Amen. Because we got to continue to teach. She also heeds James' warning do not merely listen to the word and deceive yourself, but do what it does. Mothers, mm. mothers this day in time, my God, you can't be the friend of your children. Your child, you got to be the mother. Say that. Right. Say that. Be the, the friend later on, but right now, be the mother. Yes. I would not have been able to go through childhood if I didn't have a mother. She was a friend when I needed a friend, but she was my mother. She didn't blame. And I thank God for her. Yes. So these kings and queens, they need Mothers, yes. and for those that don't have a mother, God will bring a spiritual mother. Oh, yeah. uh, every time I turn around, there's a child saying, Mom, Mom, Judy. I'm like, Lord, I got enough of them. <laughs> but I thank God for them. I didn't birth them, but I thank God for them. Amen. Even the kids in the school, I'm like, okay. And a little child the other day, she's on in the tenth grade, so you're talking about 15, 16 years old. She said, I don't have a mother. And she looked at me. I'm like, and so now we're so close. I gave her a nickname, Kai. She said, Oh, that was my mother's name. I didn't know that. Wow. Wow. She said, and so I Kai called her Kai. And so every day we see one another, and she doesn't have a mother. And for those that have raised your children, still be a mother. Mm -hmm. Pour into somebody's child. Mm -hmm. And that's even for the fathers mm -hmm. that raise your children. Be a father to somebody's child. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm not going to take Amen. long because I'm going to do my day. <laughs> Part right. of doing what the word says is having an active prayer life. Amen. I enjoy my grandparents. And still me how to pray. My grandmothers were prayer warriors. Amen. Amen. My grandmother, I, 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 a bit before her, when she left this earth, I helped to care for her, and she woke me up four o'clock in the morning, and I thought she fell out of the bed and whatever. I'm like, oh my God, I ripped through the bedroom. She was crying out praying. She. Grandchild and great grandchild's name. I'm like, I would have forgotten the name. She prayed over every last one of them. Four o'clock in the morning. My other grandmother was the same way. Prayer warriors. Prayer warriors. So that taught me how to pray. Amen? Amen. So, women, we got some work to do. You got grandchildren. You got a granddaughter. Teach her how to pray. Amen. How to pray. Amen. Part of doing what the word is saying is being an active, having a, a active, a proactive prayer life. Mm -hmm. And Paul instructs us, do not to be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving press, present your request to God. <laughs> and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. 
Similarly, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. Yes. This is God's will. Yes. In Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. We got to pray. <clears throat> a woman of God approaches God with a grateful heart and casts her worries upon him. <clears throat> Amen? Because we women, we're mothers, we're emotional. That's how we're made. And men know that your wives have emotions. So you go, you got to know how to handle them. Amen? Amen. Young men, don't think that drama queens are crazy. <laughs> They're women. They're young women. Oh, God. When they go, ah, ah, they're women. <laughs> it's called emotions. Uh -huh. Do we have to calm it down as women? Yeah. We do like dramatic sometimes, but it's called emotions. I'm sorry, what was that question? <laughs> so we carry, we, we cast our cares and our worries on God. A woman would trust in God's, a godly woman would trust in God's ability and his love. So she brings her worship and her concern to the throne. Hey, Kusaba, I love coming before the throne. I love it. Wednesday night is just one part of it. When you hit this door, you know his presence is here. Yes. Just one hour. What did he tell the disciples in the garden of the Gethsemane? If you just want, just one hour. And that's all we have is just one hour. And I'm not ready to leave then. So I love worshiping at his throne. A woman of God obeys God's commandment to love others well. Her speech is edifying and encouraging to others. Not slanders are filled with gossip or in, intense. Mm. Ouch. Yeah. Women. Where mothers go. <clears throat> she is kind, compassionate, and forgiving. She helps to bear the burdens of other believers. As she has <coughs> opportunity, she tries to do good to all, especially those in the family of God. Are we the family of God? Yes. Oh, yes. And we're to love one another. Yes. Women, we got to love. I don't care what we see, what we hear, we still got to love. If they run in that door, drunk, high, whatever, we still got to love them. Amen? Amen. Because love will cast the hell right out of you. And I'll tell you what it is. Love will be cast. If you just love it, it covers a multitude. It covers a multitude. Amen? Amen. And she has the opportunity. She tries to do good to all, especially those in the family of God. She is not conceived. Not conceived. <laughs> not conceived. Can I say it again? Yeah. Conceited. Prideful. <laughs> but lives with the spirit of humility. She does not grumble or needlessly argue and cause dissension. Sometimes we have to catch ourselves as a mother and a woman. We have to catch ourselves, but rather tries to live in harmony with others. Now, this is the power of 31 woman. That means we have to ascertain to that place. Because there is no proverb perfect woman on this earth. Every, everything that they proverb 31, okay, am, am I, you're checking yourself with that. Yeah, we are going to be checking. Because it's the word of God. A woman of God follows Peter's teaching to in your hearts were revered Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. She attempts to abstain from sinful desires. I said, she attempts She's not perfect. Which war, wage war against your soul? A woman of God eagerly does the work God has given you to do. Young girls, there's always 
young lady and our, our woman. We have a calling on our life. I don't know, and who was told you that you weren't capable to preach, teach, prophesy, whatever. The Bible says it's a calling on your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. For it is God's will that by doing good you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. Live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Mm. Live as God's slave. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. She knows that she is highly valued in Christ. Jesus loves us, woman. Yes, he does. <laughs> the woman of the well at the well. See, in the Old Testament, we were thrown away, but Jesus says, He loves us. Yeah. Mothers. He loves us so much that when he hung on the cross, he made sure his mother taking care, was taken care of. Yes. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> she manages her home well according to godly principles. A woman of God's beauty is of her inner self, uh -huh. not the faded beauty of a gentle she becomes a gentle and quiet spirit. Ultimately, the woman of God is a work in progress, and that's all of us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> hey, Amen. a masterpiece of God saved by his grace through faith. And becoming more like Jesus as she sinks, seeks to know him. The woman of God fears him. And I don't mean just fear, scare. But respect. Mm -hmm. Respect. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> what qualifies and what qualities does this noble proverb 31 woman possess? She is faithful and trustworthy. She is a diligent worker. And I said diligent because the Bible tells us if we if we don't be a diligent worker. That's men and women. And waste your time that the enemy will steal your time and use it. All right? All right. She takes care of her family's needs. She is capable and strong. She is generous and charitable. She is fearless and prepared. She is noticeably respected by others. She is modest. She is wise. She has a servant's heart. Amen. 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 Not too cute that you can't serve. Amen. 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 So God is telling us as women that charm can be deceptive. Deceptive. Charm. Yeah. Beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And about that beauty, it'll last always. Amen. You built like a Coca Cola bottle, mm. <laughs> but at the end, it can fall. It can fall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what kind of surgery you gonna get, it's gonna fall. <sighs> so that beauty shall be inside. Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay, how many? And I don't want you cutting all the time anyway. You hear me? You better keep that beauty inside in that heart. <laughs> but that stuff ain't working. Yeah. Be real, you all. Be real. <laughs> so men, make sure that Proverbs woman, that young men, young men, my grandsons, they're going to be some pretty ones out there, but they ain't always the godly woman that God wants you to be. Amen? And you be the king that God has called you to be. Young ladies, be the queen. God wants you to be the queen that matches the queen, the king. Amen? Amen. Amen. Women, we are. We're going up. Amen. We're going up. And thank God for the five-word woman. Yeah. 
was too. And I thank God to this day. Your father was my father. And yes, I had another father. He taught me also. So I had two daddies. And I thank God for them. And I respected them. So the word today is teach. Teach the king and the queen that's coming up. That's going to rule this room. And we want to, them to rule in righteousness, not evilness. But and I got two more things. Camera. Mothers, and I'm looking at the cup, the, the camera. You birthed a male and a female. You didn't birth that boy and change him into a girl. God birthed you a boy or a girl, but he didn't birth in between.
At this time, I'm going to ask all the mothers that they would come forward. All mothers, come forward. Oh, my God. 